In today's video, which is sponsored by EA, I drop over 4.7k damage, use some very balanced and totally fair weapons, and find myself an in-game butler? False! Feed me grapes. But most importantly, I'm testing and rating your favorite loadouts in Apex Legends, and if you want me to try out yours, then leave it in the comment section for a chance to be featured, and like the video, because if you don't, it might be another three months till I upload one of these videos. <laughs> yeah, I do this for a living. Game one. Okay, I'm never doing that again. Awesome LG dude came with our first loadout of the day, asking for me to use the flatline vault combo. So when I found them both on the same loot map, it felt pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Goo goo ga ga. <laughs> oh, they've just spaced one of me, brace me. Nice. I was like a, uh, like a rabbit getting chased by two dogs then. Uh, right. I hate to break it to you, Jack, but no one has ever said that before. We left Barometer having turned it into a thermometer, because I was on fire. This is where I ask you to subscribe, please. But we didn't have to go too far to find our next enemies, and I was ready to bring the heat. Where am I getting shot from? Sir William is no longer a sir. 11 kills and 10 enemies left meant the awesome LG dude wasn't lying about this being a decent loadout. Wasn't lying about this being a decent loadout. And with the math still checking out for a potential 20 bomb, I turned off my brain and chased the closest shots. Like a dog chasing rabbits, you might say. So you two. Sounds like a butler name. False. Get me my wine. <laughs> and my apple and grapes. False. Feed me grapes. He's got gold. Octane. He's one. Oh, I'm good. Nice ult here. Nice, I'll see. Young man! Wide oh, one! No, no! Thank you, Falls! Falls. Res me. Res me, Falls! <laughs> <laughs> he just spread across the floor. <laughs> what was the what was the butler called off the back there? I wanna say like Jarvis or something. <laughs> Jarvis? I don't maybe it's not Jarvis. <laughs> It's definitely not Jarvis. Jarvis? <laughs> I don't think it's Jarvis. What is it? It's like Master Wayne. Yes, Jarvis. <laughs> um, what was his name? Ya, ya, it's, it's ya something. It's ya, ya. Master Wayne, your feet look awfully sweaty, sir. Would you like a clean up? <laughs> My tongue is ready. Master Wayne. I can assure you my tongue feels like sandpaper today. <laughs> oh, it's, it's Alfred. It's Alfred. Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred. <laughs> I was close, bro. I was close. Jarvis. I mean, falls. <laughs> Loot that box for me. Overall, I'm going to give the vault flatline a 4 out of 5. It's very solid, but I feel like you could definitely do better than the vault. 
For round two, I was given the 30-30 car combo by none other than Mr. Man Man Boy 23,235. Had to get the number in there to make sure we're not confusing him with any of the other 23,234 Mr. Man Man Boys. But as we found ourselves landing in, there was something else that was on Jack's mind. You've got a bit of dissonance where one part of your brain goes, you want it, and the other part doesn't want it. But I've sort of come to the conclusion that I don't. But when I'm drunk, I do. Like, the, the thought's always going to be there. It's, it's instinctual, isn't it? You want to you go get yourself, so... Nice. Killed Doc Old Cheese. Too good. After popping a Phoenix kit and having my heart filled with pure joy by the Nessie stickers. Whoa, 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 who are these other Nessies, fam? I've been here since day one. I thought we were bros, man. No, 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 Norbert, Norbert, bro. Those are stickers of you, man. Yeah, yeah, fam, whatever, man. I am watching you. If you're dealing with the ops, then you know we've got a problem. <clears throat> anyway, uh, moving on. We moved on into Dried Gulch. Yes, that's actually what they called this POI and got right back into the action. Nice job. Last guy. Oh, that's new team. Yeah, get out, Chad. The black fight is pretty good. That gold. She's raised in again. That life light needs to go, man. Just head, just, just head back. Oh, I got a knock, but they have lifeline anyway. Instead of fighting outside the ring, I decided to send us towards zone and laugh while they kept getting down to ring damage. <laughs> he keeps dying to zone. He's down bad. Oh, I think if we wait, then we're just really sad human beings. They would do it to us, but would we do it to them? Surely this decision would come back to bite us in the future. Nope. No chance of that. Yeehaw, boy. I, I meant to say cowboy, but cow didn't come out. <laughs> boy just came out. <laughs> boy. Listen, no amount of awkward silence will ever take away my dream of being a cowboy. The car 3030 was hitting pretty hard, which meant Mr. Mad's loadout was in with a shot of topping the leaderboards. But before I can give it a score, I feel like we should let some of the enemies in the lobby decide how good it really is. Be on us. They're on us, they're on us, they're on us. Within minutes, three large grizzlies have surrounded us. Not done. I'm crafty. Teammate. Well, I'm glad I can at least live without any regrets in my life. Surely this decision wouldn't come back to bite us in the future. And with no crafters available to bring back Jack and Houndy, I was going to have to take on the rest of this lobby as a solo. I feel that team's only managed to stay in this because of that lifeline. Right? Oh, it's that lifeline team.
I don't win this, by the way. It's like near impossible for me to win from this position. You can probably get one of them up. They have a fairly good team as well. You know, it's not often I'll happily take second, but in this case, I'll take it. I'm going to give the Car 3030 a 4 out of 5 as well, making it tied with the Vault Flatline for first. The final loadout of the day was served up by Andrew Rodriguez, who set the R99 and the Prowler. But until I could find a Prowler or craft an R9, the Vault and the R3 would have to do. Now I'll have you know that as a master of the R9, I know a thing or two about crafting. I love it. I love crafting. After bringing back the crispy man himself, a very, very talented team on the mountain with snipers skillfully dispatched of my Loba ult. Good job boys, you did it, well done. So once we pulled ourselves together, there really was only one play for us to make. See? That's what happens when you're annoying. Now we were in a standoff with the team in the streamer building. But fortunately, as we learned earlier, everyone hates Loba ults. So I put my down and we waited. At least we won, right? <laughs> right? Now all there was left to do was rotate, clear the edge of zone, and win the game. This seems like a very fair and balanced loadout. I'm raising the Prowler and R9 a 4.2 out of 5. While it lacks in range, it's gonna win you like 90% of your close fights, so sometimes that's all that matters. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, consider subscribing and check out the video on screen. I can hear the nemesis when I try to sleep at night.